Georgia Tech is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hurricanes have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week in, as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw from their own 25-yard line. Second down. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. Loss of about two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It looks like they're coming after this kick. And this one is a beauty. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Yards at the most on the fullback option. 82 yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 37 yard line. He's scrambling. And he's tackled in the open field. Right now, this quarterback, when he's calling play action, is doing a good job of selling the run fit. He's not tipping his hand at all that it's a play action pass. He's doing a good job of selling the run fake, which is getting the defense out of position and making it much easier to throw the football. From the 33-yard line, first down. Stop behind the line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Watch the run, watch the run. Check 59, Mike, Mike is 59, Mike the 59. Down! Blue 19, blue 19. Nice run up the middle. From the 31 yard line. Third down. Oklahoma! Deep ball laying it out there. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. They look awesome on that play. A well thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. He hits the PAT. A nice five-play, 65-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And Brad, you're going to move the ball well when you're able to execute the pass game like that. Those big plays eventually are going to lead you to touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia Tech's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Now he's scrambling. Decides to slide, and he got about six on that little scramble. 
They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 44. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Eddie's getting the ball here. Eddie's getting the ball. Ready. Check, check. And he's immediately tackled. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice gain. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Ready! Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. Around the 39 yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 39 yard line, it's second down. Ready, 180. <laughs> Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Let's go! He gets sacked on the play. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And it hits the upright. No good. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 40. Georgia Tech up seven points. Tackle at the 39-yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. Third down. Larry, Larry. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Under pressure. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. The Yellow Jackets are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. From their own 32 yard line. Second down. Ready! Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. That's going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one so far. 7 0, Yellow Jackets.
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Booming kick. They'll bring him down at the 24. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Georgia Tech is up by a touchdown. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 22. He's taken down at the 34. That makes it first to 10. Run. They're running it. Check 59. Mike, Mike, 59. Mike, 59. Oklahoma. He's taken down at the 33 yard line. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. Second and 11. From their own 33 yard line. Second down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Nice run there. Bring him down at the 39. That'll be a loss of one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Quick throw, and down he goes. Right around the 28-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of five on the play. First down. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Ready! And he hits him hard at the 18-yard line. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun-shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage.
And there's two minutes remaining in the half. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Looking for the corner. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Georgia Tech is up seven. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. I love to see a confident quarterback. But you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. He's on the run. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, third down. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Set. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. He is drilled at the 14. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. They line up at the 14. It's first down. He heaves it deep. This one will fall incomplete. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder, though he didn't make the catch like one. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. with a run and he's going to be stopped short. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He really got a hold of that one. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And they got him. Georgia Tech is up a score. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's tackled at the 20. Guns it to the left, and they intercept it. The sophomore safety. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Room around the corner. Runs right for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. I'm 
Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. The Yellow Jackets lead 7-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both teams wanted to establish a running game. Both teams were stubborn in trying to do so, and neither team was successful. Did you get the sense the defense knew what was coming? Hey, dude, first and 10 means run. Yeah, I think, I think when you do it every single time, it doesn't really uh, make it hard for a defense to figure out. You can become much more aggressive. you got to take some chances. I, you want to stick with the run. You want to have that balance. But if you don't push the ball down the field, then I never have to honor it. So mix in some first down passes and runs. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Georgia Tech up seven points. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and seven. seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28. Larry, Larry, Larry. Check 59. Mike, Mike. Set. 59. Blue 14. Mike, 59. Blue 14. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 45. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Makes it out to about the 46. That's a deep 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 deep. That brings up second down. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Set. Hot. Hot. And they get nice yardage on that run. run here, right side. That brings him second and five. From the 36 yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled right around the 36 yard line. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. Third down. Georgia Tech is up by a touchdown. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 30. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. From the 30-yard line. First down. He can run. Brought down around the 11-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Nice move, and he scores. Converts the extra point. Looks 
looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia Tech's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, which has been so conservative, so predictable, it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Makes it to the 34. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gets it out to the wide alley. He's got the first. First down. Ready! Ready! Quick pass. Tackle at the 46. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Ready! Ready to cut! And he's hit immediately. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First down. I'm coming for you, son! I'm coming for you, son! Run! Slings it left. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. And a great pass play that time. And here we see just how much this defense respects the running game. They got sucked in here on the play action and got beat on the pass. Good play call. From the 17-yard line, first down. Play action. Now he's on the move. Tackle made right around the six yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Set. Pitch out, and he is hit immediately. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here we go. On the hand, a big hit, and he'll lose yardage. No big on the play. That makes his third and goal. Well, it's third and goal, and they're ten yards out. Bring the quarterback down. That's a loss of eight yards. That brings us fourth and goal. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, Georgia Tech leads 14-3. A 
All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Hey, we got to get the stop. Nice run there. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. the stop at the 45. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 45-yard line, second down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Set. Oklahoma. And he's level at the 48-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. He flings it. It's picked off, and it's the sophomore. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. This sophomore corner's got a ton of potential at that position. These coaches are really excited about what he'll do for the program over the next few years. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17. Right around the 20. That's a team of three on the ball. That makes it seven and six. Ready! Here's the halfback. Tackled after a decent pickup. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Caught and he steps out of bounds. First down. Ready! Green! Check, check! Tiger! Wide open, incomplete. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Ready! Green, idiot! Throws left, the running back's got it. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on him, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Third down again. Less than three minutes in the game. After a decent run up the gut. Catches it and he's looking for more. He's knocked out of bounds around the 47 yard line. That makes it so easy. Ready! Green 88! Green! Goes to his back, and it's in and out of his hands. Tenth play of the drive. That makes it second and ten. Tight right, tight right. Hey, they scared. They scared. 46 is right there. Check in. Wide 80. Wide. Motion, motion. Caught with room to work. That's a great tackle at the 48. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll make it 35.
There are two minutes to go in this football game. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Steps out of bounds at the 42-yard line. 13th play of the drive coming up. He's going right. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. This guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal. He can take a game over at any time. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 17. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He throws it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. This is the 16th play of this drive. There's a strike complete. Here we go. Fires quick. He's got another one. And he's tackled right away. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Here we go. Green 88. Green. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. And they're looking to get two points here. Now he's scrambling. They don't get it. A long 16-play, 84-yard drive, but they just get six points after failing to convert for two. The score now, 14-9. And they could not recover the onside kick. Well, it's a nice job there by their turn team to recover the football. Now they just want to run the clock out. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. He's tackled at the 32. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Nothing there on the keeper. Miami's going to have to use their second time out of the half. We have less than a minute to go. Nice run there as they work the outside. The Hurricanes using their third and last time out. Just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say, that won the ball game. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Well, this one's just about over unless we see something totally phenomenal from this return team. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback.
And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Picked off. It's the cornerback. The Hurricanes, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.